Hi, this is Brandon from Watches On You. Today we're in St. Louis Park, Minnesota at Continental Diamond taking a look at the Breitling Navitimer 43mm with the Breitling B01 movement. So now I'm just going to dive into the case aspects of this watch and as I said it has a 43mm case. This one is in stainless steel but it also comes in a variety of other materials. I'll leave a link in the description to their website so you can learn more about that but I'll move into kind of the rest of the case here. So this one is available on a bracelet or a leather strap and as you see it's got the stainless steel bracelet right here and it looks very very nice you get a lot of reflection in the light it's kind of a, it's definitely a flashy watch so if you like that you could probably go with the bracelet model but I tend to be a little bit more uh, I, I like more discreet watches so I would probably go with the leather strap instead and both are available with this deployant clasp right here and it's very very nice everything is very beautifully finished on the Navitimer you can see on the back it has this beautiful scale right there. It's actually a temperature scale, so you can convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's very useful. Breitling on a lot of their watches have various conversion scales on the back of their watches. And then, of course, this is the Navitimer. So you have other scales on the front, such as a slide rule and a tachometer. And it looks very, very, very nice. So now moving into that dial. So one of basically the key features of the Navitimer, as I said, are those conversion scales on the side, and that's because this is a pilot's watch, and hence the name Navitimer. So now moving into kind of the complications on this watch, it has a chronograph, so if I can push this top pusher, it's a very standard functioning chronograph, so to start it, you push the top pusher here, and as you can see, that goes around. Now, the frequency of the movement is 28,800 hertz, which is eight beats per uh, second so it's a very smooth moving ha second hand and it's that's pr that frequency is pretty typical of Swiss watches Rolex uses the same frequency and it it produces a much more smooth looking second hand than on Asian watches which actually tend to have a six beat per second cycle and I think that looks really really nice so I'll stop the chronograph here and then reset with the bottom pusher which again is typical so this chronograph is actually powered by the Breitling B01 movement, which has a power reserve of over 70 hours. And I think that that, that is absolutely fantastic. You've heard me in previous reviews saying that basically every watch needs a power reserve of at least 48 hours because that's more than two days. So I'm really pleased with the uh, above 70 hour power reserve on this. It's really, really convenient. And people with this kind of watch tend to have multiple watches. So if you go a few days without wearing it, you'll be totally fine. So now I'll move on to a wrist shot. And as you can see, it looks definitely, I'd say it wears probably more like a 40 millimeter even though this watch is of course 43 millimeters. The 43 millimeter case size isn't that big of a deal for me. It, for a normal like dive watch, I think 43 is a little bit big. I tend to like to watches that are more around 40 millimeters, but 43, given that it's a chronograph, is totally fine. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. And remember at Continental Diamond, I'll leave a link in the description to their website so you can learn more about them. Thank you.